Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create accordions from scratch. Let's say this is our, you know, page, which doesn't have any accordions whatsoever in it. I'm just going to expand it a little bit, maybe play a little bit of a background so we have some space to wiggle around. So now every accordion is basically going to have a few states. One is that let's say nothing is open. So you have just blocks like, like bars, which are not active. And then you're gonna have another state where you basically uh, one of the fields is open or expanded and everything else is shut, right? So these are the two different ideas. Now the issue is that let's say if you have three of them or let's say even two of them is that if you open a middle one, the third one has to drop down. We have to somehow be attached to each other so that the expansion of the content height-wise is actually pushing everything down. Now there is a lot of different ways to do so, but this is probably the easiest to start off with for a beginner so that you can actually start going and just making drop downs left and right. So let's jump right into it. Now, for our drop downs, I'm just gonna go ahead and create that first state where we have the collapsed and inactive bars. Boom, so now we have our inactive components. And if we preview, of course, it's not gonna be any functional. Nothing happens if we click on it. Again, the styling is relevant for now, what we care is interaction. So I'm gonna go ahead and just convert this one into dynamic panel. And what we would want to do is, give, of course, give it names. So let's say accordion one. Now inside, you would want to also create a couple of states. So let's say in this case, I'm just gonna duplicate this state and say this is where the content lays. And the other one is a default one. So in the content one, you of course want to expand it to some length. It's good to keep it quite standard. So let's say I'm gonna keep it at 330 and I'm gonna also note it down and I'm just gonna invert probably this arrow up and probably maybe even change the color so it's more obvious for your users that this is the active panel, like so, let's say. Of course, you can play the shades a little bit better. I think this is a bit too brutal for us. Just create this and probably fill it in with Laura Mipsum. This is a nice kind of built-in feature in Axure, like so. and. Let's say, let's make it 12 and maybe insert a few paragraphs so it feels a bit more natural. I think we can also maybe add a picture or an element to it. Let's say if this is explanation of how to do something, maybe it's a tutorial. One more thing what I want to do after defining the content and the other state is just to make a switch right away. So I'm just going to say if you click on this bar, I'm just going to add the, the top layer of the uh, hotspot so we can add a trigger to all the items instead of just one. I'm just gonna say interactions, new interaction on click, set panel state, accordion one and we're gonna just state it to content and we can either animate it in or just flip it right away and I'm just gonna copy the same hotspot to the content bit as well like so, so just to the top bit, and I'm just gonna change it to default state so that we create kind of like a binary switch back and forth. And now if I preview it, you're gonna see something happen. You see it, it opens like an accordion, but it doesn't affect the other two bits, like so. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete the other two because we already have a pretty well-defined an accordion segment, so we can just do things like so so that we have three switches done. And I'm just gonna rename it again to the previous states. I hope this is not too confusing why we're deleting it, but it's just easier. I wanted you to kind of understand what's the transition like. Of course, in a real life scenario, I would be creating a segment by segment and then copying just like this, but I just wanted you to show the structure first. So it's really up to you what type of way you wanna do it with. So now the problem is that if I open one of these accordions, what's below is not gonna change. So Axure back in the day had a lot of different bits defined, but we didn't have a definition of how to push or pull widgets. And I think that functionality came in maybe the seventh or eighth iteration of Axure. So back in the day, you had to move everything manually and say this object has to move if this object is open and create so much 
you know, conditional statements. Now, with Axure, it's quite easy to do. It's just that there is a built-in functionality for that. So if I, let's say, would go into account one dynamic panel and select that first option, hotspot, where we set the state of a panel to content, I would select the same action definition and I would click on more options. Now here is where you can push or pull widgets. And that's the kind of like a really nifty hack in Axure where you can save so much time. So if I would select push and pull widgets and say below by default, I could either insert like animation so everything just slowly goes down or I could click on it and say, just bounce everything what's below this accordion. If it expands, everything just goes down. But in this case, I'm just gonna say animate in maybe on this one. So maybe we can do something nifty. So let's say slide down in 200 or maybe let's say 400 and we don't need no animation out. And we can also add the same animation here. So we can maybe say linear and 400. So as you can see, we're matching the top animation that the content is gonna slow slide down, but also everything below, most unopened bars are also gonna slide down. And let's test it out. Let's see how that works. Boom, as you can see, it slided in pretty neatly, but if I close it, nothing else happens below. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm just gonna go in into our uh, accordion one dynamic panel and just choose different state for content because we have a binary switch. Now here I would just select the hotspot and have the same kind of definition. I would just say animate out, slide up in 400 let's say and add more options where I would push or pull widgets so we want to pull it up and we want to pull it linearly in the same exact time. And that's it. So we have two statements, uh, two, two type of animations going and let's see if that works. So it pushes everything below and it pulls everything up. As you can see, it's smooth enough. You can play with the timings to make it smoother because there are some transitions in between in and out, but it works. So what I would do next is I would simply again, would probably just delete the other two and just copy this bit because it already has all the behavior we need. So maybe I would just do something like maybe five even, it doesn't have to be free, but just to show you exactly what I mean, you can just, you know, once you define one, you can then replicate the things like so and preview. And now it doesn't matter which accordion I would open, it opens and, and pushes everything down. So it's pretty neat, right? As you can see, we're running out of space, so you might want to also increase the size of this panel underneath, uh, just so it's more uh, aesthetically pleasing and it doesn't look so broken, maybe like so, so that it, you know, there is infinite amount of white underneath and just open different tabs. Now, one issue and one thing you might want to do is to add it logic that only one of them can be open at a time. You would first want to give the names again back to them. You would kind of want to go bit by bit if you really want that logic, because again, it takes time, it takes extra time. So you would want to say on click, insert action and just set panel states of every single bit like this, account two to default, and then add another target, account three to default, and then another target for the default and so on. And you can of course copy this bit across to different dynamic panels, but then you have to adjust that, let's say account one is also one who closes instead of account three or so forth. But just to show you exactly how that would work, I would just open this up, preview it. Let's say we open number six and then we open number five, number one. And as you can see the six, just close down. So you kind of automate it, but automate it manually. And again, play around. There's, you know, a lot of you can do, it just takes a little bit of extra time. Of course, it's maybe like extra 15 minutes and it, you know, it could improve 
the prototype experience immensely and maybe your users are gonna love it. So it really depends what you want to achieve. But these are the basics of, of accordions and how you can stitch together multiple elements into one accordion and how you can push and pull depending on user interactions. So I hope this video was useful. If so, give a like, subscribe to this channel, leave a comment down below if you would like for me to cover something else. And as per usual, stay tuned for more material coming up soon. See you next time.